Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? It's a beautiful evening here in Oregon. It's a Monday night and it is our friend Roman's birthday. Happy birthday, Roman. Happy birthday, Roman. I don't know if you heard us, he's putting his pants on. Hey, Roman says. <laughs> here, here, one more time, Roman. Woo! It's Roman's birthday. So we we cruised the Roman mobile here from Eugene. We brought out the dinghy and we've got a small fleet of crab traps. So we're gonna go drop a few cages. We're gonna try to get out there and catch a sunset. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Don't go nowhere. You're watching the bite. Here's Corbin riding in the cameraman seat. Like if you were trying to film like a car chase or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a dog out. Roman, what's the plan? Uh, the plan is to carry this boat a uh, long ass way down to the water. Which we knew what we were getting into when we started this. It's definitely a long way. And, uh, now we're gonna go catch some crabs. And oh. birthday fishing trip. <laughs> Fixing your boat with Gorilla Tape. Yeah!
shallow too though. It's, it's pretty shallow right there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so we want to go out past this this oh, rock. Yeah, we're, oh yeah, we're at about two feet, three feet. Yeah, so it's out past this and down. Yeah. We want to go out past this whole little set up a little bit. There's a specific yeah. spot we want to really get, but all yeah. even in right here, like it's low tide. So even in yeah. right here, we will catch crab and eventually we'll spread our traps all the way out so we'll get everywhere. Chicken in a bag. New buoy. Fancy things going on with that one rope. That's a perfect spot. All up in it trying to get that that freshy mish fresh chicken. Look at this beautiful, brand new, freshly painted, already slightly patinaed buoy. Right, right there. Yeah, right there's some fun. Trap in the water. Look at that. That was going to run super far. So we got to run super far. Another green. Wow. We shall see very shortly. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way. And then, oh, God, I can stand up. Oh, oh hey. Right there. Oh yeah! Oh. One fell out. I think oh. Oh, he's sinking. Oh. We got a couple of these crazy. Look at these crazy crabs. So this looks like a male. It looks like a keeper in Dungy. Yeah. First keeper. And this crazy crab. I think people do eat these things, but eat those balls. I think that they're Let's edible. Try. I think this crab is edible too. It's a male, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's for all those rules that apply. Right. We're gonna look. We're gonna pop this we're gonna look back in there. And make sure that that crab doesn't look terrible in the heat. Ready? I don't know what kind of crab those ones are right off the bat. They look like a spider crab of some kind. And that could be exactly what they are. But I'm gonna find out the real name. The kelp crab, maybe. And um, I think they are good eating. We're gonna look into it if they're if they're good eating, if they're legal to eat, and whatever. And we're probably gonna eat those claws later because those claws are big. Yeah, big tasty claws. Let's try pulling up our one more ring right now. We've got another ring right here that we can check, and then we're gonna pull over for a minute and let our cages soak. So marinade. Oh, oh baby, that looks like probably a keeper dungeon. We might as oh. well. Yep, that's a keeper crab for Woo. sure. So that's Number two, two. two nice big dungies. And then these are little little red rock stone crabs. And technically you can keep these at any size, male or female. These are both female. Well, okay. But we're gonna go ahead and let these ones go because Make in this particular bigger. fishery, we kind of like that they exist and we want to catch more of them. In, in theory, uh, you're allowed to keep so many, 24 and any size because they're a little invasive. But uh, in this particular yeah. body of water, I really love that we catch them here a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and keep catching them. Back in they go. Yep, that one can score right back Woo. in. No loser. Well, damn. All right. So two, three, I mean, two and a half. Yeah. Super crabs already. I love it. And we're just now set up. We're just getting in. We're gonna park here for a little minute and see what, uh, what the uh, jetty has in store for us. Maybe do a little bit of fishing, maybe just get resituated now that all the traps are soaking and uh, let the cages hang out for a couple hours. The other side looks like right now. Is that where the better rock is? Yeah. Right now, it's pretty 
rough and gnarly on the other side. We're inside the triangle right here, just kind of tied off to the jetty. We've got our, trap, our crab trap soaking and casting into the actual uh, channel, into the river mouth, is not really a go right now. It's pretty rough out there and there's big waves coming in. But so inside of here, I'm just gonna put this little piece of bait on. I had a big piece of plastic tied on to try to catch a lingcod, but at night and with how rough it is, and since we're fishing on the inside, I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna just try to target some rockfish, maybe some greenlings, see whatever, whatever wants to take it. And I'm gonna fish this right on the sand to the rock edge and hope that the fish are out there kind of hanging out a little bit. They say that at night, the rockfish suspend and swim out into the open water and over the sand and stuff and away from the rocks. So maybe I can get one kind of venturing out that direction. Catch any fish yet, Roman? <laughs> That's a nice little black rock bass. It's just a little guy, but... There you go. Look, he took off. Someone took off the tip of your, uh, your worm there first, too. That's why I said You were right. You're like, I feel you, like I'm getting a little dip. I've been getting this. hit, like, left and right for, like, the last half hour. And I've just been, like... That's why I've been so quiet, because I'm just, like, for real, though? Like... So he's a little bit small. He's going definitely small. But back in the water, happy. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Woo -hoo. Swim on. Roman's first rockfish of the trip. And a first rockfish or fish of any sort. On, on this, this pole. pole. Yee haw, bud. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Yeah. It's, a, it's a greenling? Yeah, it's a thin SL greenling. Whoa, no, it's a weird, it's a different type of rockfish. It's a little, it's a little quill back. Cool. All right, all right, all right. Got myself a little quill back skunk shaker. Cool little fish. Nothing too fancy, but that's a fish. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
check that one. That's a lot of crabs right there. Yeah, that's a big crab. Go ahead and drop them in. And then that little red rock there, we'll let that go. And then I believe the other crabs are all keepers over there. Actually, probably not. Dude, look at these big ones at my feet. Why do we keep that little? Oh, he's got a big arm. Don't smash their arms. You want this little spidery one? That thing. Nope. Bye. You want to keep it? Um, yeah, let's keep it. Okay. We get 24 of those. 24? That's amazing. Yeah, so these ones are too small. These, like this yeah. one, to be too real, small. even one like this size, sometimes one decides to keep it. Look at those claws. Yeah, those claws you know are tasty. I mean? Yeah, and these are invasive, so technically it's oh, not really? a bad. It's not a bad. Is this, this, we want to gauge this one? We're going to put this one in here. We're going to gauge it. Rock you want this that one? one? Yeah, that one's a good keeper. Look at the size of his claws. Oh, those this claws crab are gonna be tasty. It's obviously not that big of a crab, but look at the size of the claws on him. And that's Beefy what we're really claws. looking for with these, these these rock crabs. It's all about their claws, and those are pretty serious claws. Yeah, those are tasty looking. It's like Popeye the crab. How do you tell the male or female? Um, that's a huge dungy though. Well, so this one's actually got a whole thing of eggs. Yeah. Show this off to the camera, that, that bottom side. Yeah, that's what we want to, that's right. The future of the crabs. Oh. All those are- it Looks like are, just sand. Or eggs. Yeah. It's like a whole egg packet underneath there. And we'll show in a minute how you can tell the difference between male and female. Let me just go get this. It's kind of cool that all of the dungeness that we catch that catch in here are all male. And this right here is a ginormous crab that's got to be eight inches across or yeah, something yeah. like that. That thing's huge. Anybody out there saw Monsters and Rainbows, we were right in the same spot and that is a monster. That's exactly what you want. Crab. Look at those legs too. Big meaty legs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's what I like, Asher. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. The big honkity honkities. The honkity honkity. That's a honkity. All right, so we got the other one coming up here. For it. Look at that. All red through. rocks. All red rocks. Wow. Crazy. Little nest we'll, here. We'll keep the big ones. Sure. Yeah, the dungeons are so easy to catch. I just like, okay. They taste different. These are sweeter. Oh, 
Here, hold it right up here. Look at that, flip it over. Look at that thing. And then and then show his belly. Super brain. What? Super bright. Colorful. That's a crazy looking crab. Look at those yeah. size of those claws though. We're definitely taking that thing home. Yeah, I'm ready to nom on those. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Super for sure. Super. <laughs> Been in the capture zone. So we just killed it right here. So we'll just do another drop right here. Right here. Back this way just a little bit. Yeah, right here. Yep, I'm swinging. I'm swinging around for you because it's gonna be way over here. It's, it's cool because we got lots of rope on this one. It's shallow over here. More big dungies. Oh, oh yeah, look at that one. It's a bunch of big dungies. Look at that one. Look at it's that. It's a monster. That's what we want. That's what we want. This one's definitely a keeper. Yep. So are those two. And that one over there. <clears throat> Dude, this spot, like, just go get a couple more bags. You like the spot right here, Roman? Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at him. Well, let me get rid of this small guy first. Hold on. What's gauge of all? Not that. Look at that keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper for sure. This is probably a keeper. Yep. Keeper. A lot of keeper. This is probably a keeper. Probably a keeper. How many was that, boys? I have no idea. That was like six, eh? At least six, maybe seven. We just found a little spot over here around the corner from these buoys. It's kind of like where you first come in to the bay. And we dropped a ring there, and the ring's been just smashing big dungies pretty regularly. So we're gonna bring a cage over there and set it up so that it can have the long soak and hopefully really fill up on some crabs right now. Yeah. We'll go figure it out right here. Sweet, so we just dropped that cage and it's over here where the crabbing's been good. And we're gonna go grab another cage and probably bring it over here also. Alright, next one's over there. Fantastic. What up? Fantastic. 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 Excellent. Flawless victory. <laughs> Indubitably. We definitely just got like another 20 crabs. Yeah, we're just like, <laughs> well, we might as well go get another 30 crabs. 30 good crabs for why not? Three gauge that. That's a baby. Same thing with this one. This is a keeper. Yeah, but it's a baby keeper. No, dude. That's a full on, uh, that's a big crab, bro. Okay. It's only a keeper. I'm just looks, used to it monsters. Just looks small. Now you get, once you get used to the monsters. Like this one. This is a, this is a proper crab. Yeah. That's what crab's supposed to be like. This is why I come out here, because I want these. <laughs> And hang out, you guys. Look at those. Just a crazy amount of crab. Well, you guys, we had a lot of fun tonight. Caught a bunch of crabs. We're gonna find out how many we got here in a minute. I think that overall, we probably got between 50 and 70 or so. Um, 
with the with the red rocks, I think we probably got close to 70 now that we stacked up. We had 25, we probably did another 25 just now. And that's essentially going to be our Monday and Tuesday limits for crabs. So we've got some friends that are gonna come out and we're gonna crab up their limits tomorrow evening. And then we'll get to crab up our um, Wednesday limit also, because we're gonna be out here for three full days. And hopefully we're going home with like a hundred plus crab. And then we're gonna can and jar fish. them all up. And some fish. We're gonna we do some fishing some tomorrow. Fish. Yeah. We didn't get skunked entirely. Like yeah, both I got, got a yeah, fish. I got a nice little prickleback and um, or no quill back. I got a nice little quill back rockfish, and uh, Roman got a nice little black rockfish. And so at least we caught some fish tonight. Just kind of throwing lures around. The uh, ocean was just gnarly rough. The channel, the main river channel, the other side of the jetty, was not really fishable. But as far as crabbing went, and inside the triangle, nice and crisp and flat in here and lots and lots of fun, perfect for a nice little boat. Um, guys who own this whole area, this whole uh, oyster triangle here, this whole triangle is an oyster farm and it's actually private, uh, private waters, but uh, they let us come down here and do a little crabbing occasionally. So. so we're gonna pack stuff up. Hope you guys enjoyed the session. We had a lot of fun just getting out here and um, being on the coast was kind of like the goal tonight. Us catching all these crabs is like a total bonus. We've accomplished what we needed to accomplish today and tomorrow already. So now it's just about catching some fish, having some fun. And to be real, we should have uh, thrown a birthday cake together for Roman. So maybe we'll- uh, <laughs> The birthday crab cake. Yeah, birthday crab cake. We'll do crab cakes tomorrow for Roman's birthday maybe. Yee -yee. That was a good time. <laughs> that was a good time. Did you have a good time on your birthday, Roman? Yes, I did. Worth it? I'd say so. Yeah, it looks like we're about to run into the beach. I don't know if you guys can see, but we can see the bottom here already. And we're coming in on the, on the sand. Let's try not to run aground too hard. Hey, oh, that's us, that's us beaching. Okay. Oh, there goes my shoe. Oh no, my shoe's floating away. Oh, and now the boat's floating away. Oh, hold on guys, hold on guys. Oh, there goes my shoe. Okay, in two seconds, jump out. Right, right, right. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna go bad way. Okay, now go. There you go. Okay. Look at that one. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. What a great evening out crabbing, I say. Just fantastic. Oh, I don't think so. We, we have one. one. One might be underneath the back little metal thing because we do that. But even if there's one in there, he'll be all right until we get him. Um, let's go. last round of traps and uh, loaded up the boats some stuff. The boat's still down there in the bay but we got all of our gear and we're cooking off all the crabs. It's actually almost 6 a.m. now. It's 5.45 in the morning. There's probably 
people showing up in the parking lot right over there to start their day and we're still cooking off the last batch of our crab but right here we've got two big containers full and that pot right there is full limit for our crew would be um, 12 dungeons each which would be 36 dungeness for each day because we fished yesterday and now today and, and we stacked them last night we actually just um, hit 25 uh, dungeons before we pulled but then we also get 24 red rock each and we have a ton of red rock in there so i don't really think that we've caught more than whatever that is 150 crab or something like that but i bet we're getting close maybe as many as 100 or so we're gonna snack a little bit roman's just straight sucking on the end of a red rock claw i'm just gonna hang out for the last couple of minutes so these crabs boil off and then i'm gonna pass out for a good few hours We'll probably get some breakfast in us and then we're going to try to hit the jetty again nice and early high tide is around two tomorrow maybe like 145 looking forward to another fun hard crabbing session just the beginning we're going to go hard again tomorrow and then probably again tomorrow night maybe even the next morning so don't go nowhere keep watching the bike